We're going to be we're, here for quite a while. Speaking of massive, we <laughs> are about to have the avalanche of information. It's going to start to roll in. 262 ridings are about to report, and the results could, could change the political landscape in the country. Uh, coming up in just a few minutes, we are going to hear from Quebec, the Prairies, and Ontario. There are 25 ridings in Toronto alone. Will the Liberals keep a hold on the biggest city? Six leaders and 40 days in a bitter campaign filled with resentment and a few revelations. Tonight is all about the results of your vote. The lowest unemployment rate in decades. That's what real change looks like. I will stand up for Canada's interests and for Canadians around the world. No matter where we're from, no matter what language we speak, no matter what our religion, we have so much more in common that connects us. Our job is to work for the betterment of Canada. Showing leadership sometimes means not making mistakes. What about diversity of opinion? We have to look after everyone as Canadians. I need to hear more about families. We have Indigenous communities that lack clean water. If climate change isn't mitigated, we won't have much left. I look for stands on diversity and inclusion. To do what's right for all of Canada. CTV, election 2019. Here is Lisa Laflamme. Very exciting time. It is just after 9.30 in the Eastern Time Zone, 7.30 Mountain. So that, of course, means the polls have just closed in Quebec, Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Nunavut. So we are going to get an absolute tidal wave of results from 263 ridings. Uh, here's where we stand so far. So here we go. The Liberals are leading and elected in 24. Uh, again, that's down from 2015. Conservatives up six. Uh, the NDP won. And of course, the Green Party. That was a big gain yeah. in Fredericton. Big gain there. Uh, obviously, the Liberals didn't hold. Uh, they're losing some, but not a lot. No. And then the, the Conservatives are up a bit. But Lisa, this is time where we should all get our life jackets on because the amount <laughs> of information that's about to swamp us, and this is where the election will really be told. Once we yeah. see Quebec and Ontario, then we'll get this thing snaps into focus, whether the Liberals really are that red wave rides out, the blue tide rises, or maybe the blue tide doesn't rise. And then, of course, we're watching the block. Well, there's two blue tides. Yeah. There's, there's two blue tides. There's, 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 there's the Conservative blue and, the and there's the block Quebec blue. Very true. And blue. their numbers uh, point to something in the order of 30 to 40 seats and that could change everything. And I just want to say that that green seat in Fredericton is not officially green yet just so everybody knows. Yeah. We are watching it. You're seeing this change in real time on your screen uh, but these are leading and elected on the standings board uh, below you. There's much to discuss with our fabulous panel here and so many right across the country. I want to go now though to former Saskatchewan Premier Roy Roy